What's going on YouTube? I'm making some pasta. I got that brand right there, and then I got this brand right here. Both boxes are of pasta are empty into the pot. Here's our seasoning mixes. Um, I got the water turned up to, uh, or the heat I should say, turned up to seven. And I'm gonna get these noodles cooked up real good. Um, the pan's a little dirty because I boiled eggs out of it. Uh, yesterday but it's fine i'm the one eating it so i'm not tripping out about it but um yeah we're going to uh boil up these noodles real quick we're not going to uh drain all the water but we're going to let these noodles cook for a bit and uh <laughs> yeah um it should not take long for these uh pasta noodles to cook up uh, once the water gets to a certain level that's when i'll add a little bit of mustard a little bit of ranch and a little bit of mayo just to give it some consistency and stir it up real good and then when it's nice and creamy with the sauce then i'm going to mix in the uh those two cheese powders that came with those boxes right there so if you don't have hamburger for those two recipes don't worry about it you know it's still basically something to eat you know what i'm saying shit and you can see the, the steam starting to rise basically here we'll speed things up turn it on to high for a minute just till the water starts to bubble and boil i know y'all like my cooking video so why not right and while that's boiling Go over to uh, uh, my YouTube here. I'm gonna upload another video. Let's see. Oh, while wow, it does that, well, we turn over here to. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's starting to bubble up. Yeah, buddy. We'll let the that water boil for a little bit longer then we're gonna add all our sauces to it and you you want to add your sauces before you add the powder the sauce when it mixes with the water will liquefy but then as the water boils down it'll congeal yeah I mean if you like mustard then fuck it right like I'm almost out of, I'm almost out of mustard and I'm like well I gotta find a way to just get rid of it here oh shit I'll get it later. I'm going to bring that down to a four. Whoa. There we go. Now that it's starting to bubble and boil like that, yeah. Bring that back down to a four now that it's boiling and shit. Okay, that's the rest of my mustard right there. And um, take all that mustard that I just poured in there, stir it around. And there isn't a whole lot of mustard in there. It's probably, gonna be a, it's probably just, just going to be enough for a little bit of flavor. Now let's add some ranch to it. Yeah, it looks a little funky when you're mixing it up and what have you. But um, it'll taste good. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I started starting to get pretty thick. Yeah, buddy. And now we're gonna throw in some of that mayo. Looking good on that. All right, so now I wanna put the ranch, actually we might add just a little bit more ranch to it. Actually, you know what? No, that's enough ranch. I think you grab some of this craft mayo. Just getting stuff all over the stove, aren't I? Now the combination of that ranch and that mayo is gonna give this a really nice creamy, it's gonna give my noodles, my noodles a nice creamy texture. Mm. But yeah, that's enough mayonnaise. Fucking stir that shit up in there. We're gonna incorporate all of that oop, in here. Trying to stir it without making a mess. Now you see just after adding the ranch and the mayo, you know what I'm saying? It's giving you a really nice thick consistency. You can see the noodles are starting to cook in that and those and those condiments. Yeah, don't be afraid to use condiments for your pasta game, YouTube. You got a favorite condiment you like to use on your burgers or your hot dogs?
There's a little bit of grease on the stove for when I was cooking burgers earlier, like a couple days ago. But that's all right. Stoves are meant to get messy, I suppose. They clean up after all. So we're gonna let that cook for a bit longer before we add the powder mixes to it. But look at that, YouTube. Look at that. You see it starting to congeal. Oh, how does this smell? Oh, YouTube, this smells really good. I'm liking this. I need a little bit of seasoning. And then the seasoning is just gonna be a little bit of salt and sugar. We're not gonna use a whole lot of that shit because we don't wanna we don't wanna make our pasta too cholesterol-y, but eh, a little bit of seasoning won't hurt. So we got a Ziploc bag with salt and sugar in it. It's what I used to season my beef. Um, seasoning your frozen patties with a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. It's pretty good, actually. And maybe a little bit of pepper, too, if you're feeling adventurous. Okay, that's good enough. Mm. That's enough salt and pepper. I mean, did I say salt and pepper? Blah. Salt and sugar. There we go. That's, about, that's enough salt and sugar. Yeah, see, now giving it a minute to cook like this, you can see the ranch, the mustard, and the mayo have congealed quite nicely. Let that cook for just a bit longer, and then we're going to add our seasoning packets. That's going to be the cheesy sauce right there, that orange stuff, and then on... This is going to be what looks like a, a beef flavored sauce. So we got a cheesy beef flavored sauce combination going here. Bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. <laughs> like a cauldron, it bubbles. <laughs> I love Halloween. Yes. Yes. Period periodically stir it up real good here. And it's starting to congeal together a little bit. That's pretty good. That's for, okay. You see how it's starting to bubble really good? And the noodles are starting to surface. Okay. Now would be an excellent time to add the um the powders powder mixes are in there now what we're going to do is take those pasta powders and really stir them up in here stir up the pasta in a circle stir it to the left stir it to the left and unfortunately if you don't have like milk or something you're gonna get these little um, cheesy chunks of powder that congeal together. Um, do what you can to like break those up. I mean, I'm not a five star chef, but I can cook. <laughs> I can throw something together and make something out of it, you know? And nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, you know, I'll make something that's pretty good. I've only had like one or two meals that I made myself where I'm like, ugh, you know? Hmm, well, it looks like I might need a bowl or a plate or some some, some shit. Uh, hold on a second, YouTube. I gotta wash a bowl out real quick. Okay, we got a clean bowl here. I don't wanna make a bigger mess on the stove. Let's see how I did, though. Oh, yeah, look at that steam. Look at that steam action. Oh, yeah. Whoa, shit balls. I almost dropped you. That would have sucked. <laughs> Mm. This right here. Oh yeah, this right here is delicious. Oh, I gotta have one more bite. One more bite for the camera. Well, I think I did pretty good with this um, random ass dish that I made here. This well, that's it for my cooking video. Y'all saw how I made that deliciousness right there. This is King Cobra JFS with another cooking video. Thank you all for watching.